What's going on gamers? Welcome back to the channel. In today's Madden 22 video, we're going to be going over what you should be doing right now. The top two methods to make a lot of coins leading up to the big programs that is coming up in the future. If you enjoy the content on this channel, Road to 10K, drop a thumbs up to let me know that you appreciate all the free methods. Hit that red subscribe button and turn your notifications on. No, for real. Some of y'all don't got y'all notifications on. Turn your notifications on. It's free. Let's get into today's breakdown. This is your one-stop shop for all Madden needs. Whether you're looking for some fly merchandise, you're looking for eBooks, you're looking for a Patreon membership, or you just want to become part of the Tutty Squad. I appreciate all the love and support. Everything is in the link in the description. Let's get it. All right, so the number one method that you want to be taking advantage of, especially with the prices of the cards in the market super high right now, is your get a player packs, okay? So every day you want to come in and you want to do about 20 to 25 rolls just to see how hot the packs are. Now, I did start a new Discord for Patreon and eBook members. So when packs are hot or something glitchy is in the game, you will be the first to get notified. As we start off with a 79 overall gold. That's a good pool. Right now, golds and elites, even low golds and elites are going for a lot. Now, when you are doing this method, there's some 67, 68 overall silvers that are going for four, five, and six K coins. So you gotta make sure that you check exactly what you pull. This one is not one of them, but some of the silvers are sneaky good. They're going for four, five, six K coins, better than some of the golds. Now, everything that you pull out of this, when you do it, can be going into a set. You can either do the Team Builder 1, the Team Builder 2 set, as we get a Elite right now. So these get a players right now are hot. This is a nice window. I'm getting an Elite in the first three to four rows. You can do the Team Builder 1, Team Builder 2, or you can take all your cards and you can sell them off individually. Now in the next 24 hours is when it's best to do this because a lot of things are high, like I told you. A lot of power-ups are rising up about a thousand. A lot of the stocking stuffers have went up about 10 to 12K. So that rolling the snow method during the window is just as good as it was the first day that it came out. And I just made a few of the stocking stuffers. Now, one of the key things that I did lead up to the rest of the promo is I sold off five or six of my main players on my team because the prices was dropping down. Let's say, for example, my Robbie Anderson. My Robbie Anderson, I got him for about 560K coins. Last night, he was dropping. Sometimes he was going for 480, 490, 500,000. So I sold him off for 505,000. Now, in two days, with all the new 95 overalls coming out and 94 overalls, I should be able to go back and pick him up for my team again. Right now, I'm just making profit for about 340K, maybe a little lower. That'd be 100K profit that I would have been made off of that card just by being smart and getting rid of them. Now, I don't power the cards all the way down. All I do is power it down enough to take the item out and I leave the rest of it just like it is. I just take the item out, sell the item, get the guaranteed coins because in two days, I'm planning on going back and picking it up. So. This is going to be the last pack right here. I'm going to show you a few ways that you can take these cards or players and then you can make coins off of them. So after you done pulled the pack 20, 25 times, that's only like six, 7,000 coins, give or take. You can go to Team Builders 1 or if you pull more good pools, you can go to Team Builders 2. So I already built one of these. Always look for something with a theme team or a card that might get an upgrade because that's going to give you the best value. So. Right now, if we were to do this 84 overall, we would put the pieces in that we pull. So we're gonna have our golds, and then we might be one or two elites away. That's okay, because these are still going for between 15 and 20 K coins. Now, always make sure that you check, because tomorrow, or if somebody gets a card, that person might have more value. So you always wanna check. So I pulled two or three golds out of that. I have enough to complete the set right now, but I'm not gonna do it in this video. So everything that you pull out of that get a player pack, gold or higher, has good value. You can sell them off individually if you want to, 
or you can put them into a set to make coins. Now, if you pull in 83s, 84s, 85s again lucky, that's less pieces that you have to buy off the market. You can go into these 88 overalls and that's gonna get you 35 to 45,000 coins. Or like I said, you can sell them off individually. Now, last night, the snow method window was super, super fire. I went last night, I sold four or five of my main players, like I said, took the free coins off of them because I can go back in the next two days and buy them for probably 100K cheaper. So guess what? With the extra 100K, I turned it into snow. I went in here and I did the method. This was late last night around midnight. I tweeted it out on Twitter. So make sure that you follow me on social media. And I went right here to this 8,000 snow. One roll of 200,000 snow got me about 700K profit on top of my original starting. I have it all in the binder, haven't sold it. Now, if you roll six times and you don't get higher than an 89 overall, stop the roll. Because sometimes the snowflakes roll is fire and then sometimes the training is fire. So you just gotta be smart, use your mind. Six rolls, no higher than an 89 overall. It's not in the hot window, stop it. So another good guaranteed way to get coins is just doing your dailies, grinding any solos that you have. You're gonna get packs, elite packs that you can also get for free and put them into sets also. So if you grind in the game or if you miss some solos and they give packs out with auctionable or setable players, make sure that you take advantage of this. Now this was all one roll. 93, 93, 91, all these 91s, all these 89s, and I made a stocking stuffer out of it. And I got two or three pieces away from a second stocking stuffer. Now these prices have inflated. These 93s are back over 140, and the stocking stuffers went from 120 just two days ago, back up to over 150, that's a 30K jump. So these 91s are all over 70,000, 69, 70,000 again. So the prices did go down, and now today they are high because the ghosts are coming out. So that's the reason why I'm patient. I think I can get these 93s to go up another seven or 8K. I can sell these off for about 148, 150. So I'm gonna be patient. I got enough coins already using the method. So you make sure that you take advantage of it. I will let you know in the Discord or tweet out when packs are hot. You wanna jump in in that 15 minutes, go ahead and roll. Like I said, six rolls, no higher than an 89 overall. Stop the method. So we did go in here and make some uh, stocking stuffers and I got enough to be able to make another stocking stuffer right here. So we just made this 92 right before the video. He's up to 144K. So he was at 150K when the method first started, went down to 120K. Now he's 22K up again. And then I'm one or two pieces away from completing a second one. So that's 288K just by selling my players early. Don't use every single coin. If you make profit, if you 200,000 up, only take 60, 70,000 off of that. If you 300,000 up, only take 80, 100,000 off. Never use everything out of your original profit. If you enjoyed the video and the tips, drop a thumbs up on the video. Use all these methods to make sure that your coin count goes up, up, up. And I'll see y'all in 24 hours.